Hey, 28, you put me on TV, you know I'm shining. Yo, what it do, what it do? What's good, what's good, what's good? Shit, yeah, I'm chilling, man. Welcome to 28, put me on TV. What's good? Thanks for having me. Yeah, no pressure, man. Can you introduce yourself? So, man, it's F-O-E-A-K, man. Coming from the east side of Miramar, you feel me? County line shit. Uh, just came to show some love, let y'all know about some music, and tell y'all a little bit about myself, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, man. So, what's it like in Miramar? Well, shit, where I'm from is like the east east side, so like I'm right on county line and shit. I mean, it's not, it's normal, you know what I'm saying? It, nothing too crazy going on. You know, you got, you got your shit that go on here and there. I mean... When I grew up, I, I moved from house to house, so my shit was a little different than everybody else, you feel me? So I had my little struggles, you know what I'm saying? But can't really complain too, too much, because, I mean, at the end of the day, I had a roof over my head, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I had food to eat, you know what I'm saying? We had struggles here and there, but, you know, I'm alive, I was well, I was healthy, so shit. Um, what do you mean by struggles? Well, you know, growing up with just a single mom, you know what I'm saying, you know how that go, you know, um, not having it all, and I went from crib to crib, you know what I'm saying, like, my mom, godmom, grandma, auntie, dad, I live with everybody, so I never really stayed in one place too long, so that kind of, I kind of got used to change a lot, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, um, you know, mom didn't really have it all, you know what I'm saying, she was doing what she could to, you know, put food on the table, which she did, which I don't know how, but she did, you know what I'm saying? So I'm grateful for that. And, uh, yeah. And uh, are your mom and dad together? Nah, they used to, when I was like a kid, like before I could even remember, they was together, they was married, you know what I'm saying? They did it how they were supposed to be done, but marriage ain't last that long. And then, you know, how that shit go. So I ended up really staying with her. And I was staying with her and my grandma, and then I stayed with her and my grandma. Then my mom moved. I was staying with my grandma. Then I stayed with my godmom. Stayed with my dad for a little bit. Stayed with a lot of people for a little bit. I had like time periods. Like mm -hmm. I stayed here eight months, and I go somewhere for another six months. It was just I was all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. And um, how was your relationship like with your father? Oh yeah, we cool. We cool. That's my boy. You know what I'm saying? He be he always show love, you know what I'm saying? He put everybody on in my music, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's my boy. I fuck with him heavy. That's what's up, man. A lot of people, parents don't be, like, knowing nothing about the music or don't be tuned in. So, you think your dad, like, tuned in? Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. I'll be in the crib. He'll, bro, one thing about my old boy is always somebody at the crib. So, he'll, like, have somebody at the crib and I just hear my shit playing. I'm like, what the fuck, man? What? That's love. Like, at first, I was kind of, like, when I first started rapping, I ain't want to tell him because I ain't know how he was going to feel because, you know, I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? So, but I told him. Well, he ended up finding out from somebody else, like, a mutual friend, you feel me? Because my shit was getting around. So, he was like, oh, ain't this your son? And he was like, oh, shit. And he hit me like, why you ain't tell me? And I was like, I ain't know how he was going to feel because, you know, he, he already wasn't really fucking with what I was doing outside of the music, you know what I'm saying? So. I was like, he probably think rap music just nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, but he, he showed a lot of support, you know what I'm saying? So I was surprised, but he showed a lot of support. Man, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. <laughs> that's what's up, man. So, uh, you know, uh, Miami, Broward, Miramar, is a lot, of, a lot of different ethnicity, like Haitians, Jamaican, yeah. regular or black American. Which one are you? Oh, I'm a Jamaican, man. Jamaican. Both my parents was born in Jamaica. I was born here, though, but still consider myself a Jamaican. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've lived around a lot of Jamaicans. We live in Miramar. It's Jamaican on every house, so that shit, like, a little fucking Jamaica, you feel me? So same way North Miami got a whole bunch of Haitians, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I mean, Miramar just got a whole bunch of just Jamaicans, bro, like, everywhere. That's what's up. And have you ever been in Jamaica? Yeah, I've been in Jamaica a few times. Uh, I ain't been there since, like, 20, uh, 2015. I ain't been there since, but I want to go back. But they got too much shit going on there with with the COVID and all that shit, you know. It's mm -hmm. on lockdown, so. But I do want to go. I got to see my grandma. I see my grandma in a few years. She keep telling me to come, but, yeah, you know, COVID and shit like that. 
Yeah, Kobe kind of fucked up everything, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, hell yeah. What's it? What's it like in Jamaica? Like when you've been there, like. Oh, so when I go, I don't go to like you know how people vacation. They go like people, like for instance, if somebody was to come to Miami and vacation. They might go to Brickell or South Beach, you know what I'm saying? The good part. So they're like, you know, but they don't really know the real Miami, you know what I'm saying? So when I go to Jamaica, I'm in the real Jamaica, like, you know what I'm saying? Go to my auntie crib or shit, I be, sometimes I visit my grandma. My grandma stay on top of a fucking mountain, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, I don't I don't go to the part where people vacation at. That's what I'll say, you feel me? Like, it's goats walking in the street, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, one-way streets, rocky as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Crib, barely got AC blown in that bitch. So, that's where I go, you know what I'm saying? And I like the fact that I was going there. Made me appreciate things here a little more, cause shit. At mm-hmm. least, you know what I'm saying? My grandma crib don't got no AC over there, you know what I'm saying? I got AC on my crib. Shit, simple shit that I may take for granted. I don't, I go there and I, you know, I start to appreciate things more when I come back, you know? Yeah. yeah. I felt the same way because I've been in Haiti before and it's like people over there, they're living in poverty. But even though that they're poor, I don't think, like, they don't really see it as they being poor. It's like regular life to them. Exactly. And um, knowing the difference between running water, AC, and people living perfectly fine without those things, it kind of makes you grateful, like, Hey, if some one of these people was in a position I would in, they wouldn't even complain. They'd be happy. You know what I'm saying? I would love to live like that. You know, no phone, just on the island, just a whole bunch of just trees around me with fruits on them and shit, eating natural and shit, drinking water. You know what I'm saying? I would love to live like that because carefree without nothing going on. You feel me? That's that's how life's supposed to be lived. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. The way Adam and Eve was, that's really how life's supposed to be. He's not supposed to be what we're doing right now with all this shit, nine to fives and this and that. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be, we just free. We shouldn't even be worried about clothes, nothing like that. Like, mm-hmm. that's just how life's supposed to be. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just making the best of it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And would you, would you say that you're like a real spiritual person? Um, uh, as of recently, yeah. Like, before I wasn't really, you know, into... A lot of stuff. Like I was raised I was like I was raised like I went to church every Sunday. I was raised in the church, I ain't gonna lie. But you know, when you when you're younger you don't really like pay attention to that stuff. Like you know oh God, what God is and so whatnot, but you don't really, you know. So you're still younger, so you're still trying to figure it out. But as of recent I've been more spiritual, like I haven't really been on what I used to be on, you know, as far as like doing dumb shit, being in the streets and shit like that. I just you know I appreciate life a little more now, you know. When you sometimes you gotta go through some shit to know some shit. So, you know, I went through some shit, and now I, you know, it was for the better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying so. Uh, what would you say exactly is that you went through? Well, you know, just life. I mean, I'm only 21, but shit, I feel like I didn't live. I feel like I'm 50. Like I feel like I lived the whole life. By the time I was like 17, I feel like I lived the whole life. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, getting charges and shit like that. You know, going from crib to crib. getting, You know what I'm saying? Getting kicked out. You know what I'm saying? Falling in love. Falling out of love. Like, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I done been through a lot of shit in my 21 years. So, um, you know, I just... Right now, even when I'm going through shit now, I just... I enjoy that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like... Lil Wayne, he said a line, he said, when life suck, I just enjoy the head, you feel me? Like, you got to enjoy, whether it's good or bad, you know what I'm saying? Living it and feel all the feelings you got. So, that's just what I do, you know. I don't trip over nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's all a simulation. Mm-hmm. We all, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we all, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happens is going to happen. Whatever happened was meant to happen. So, I can't fix nothing I can't control. Yeah, man, you know. Yeah, and on a, um on another note, I wanted to know what does F O E stand for, and well, is it F O E or fo? You know, oh, like- <laughs> so a lot of people say fo. So it's my rap name is F O E A K. So F O E is um family over everything. Mm-hmm. So basically, I started that up when I 
like 2013, 2014, I was like in eighth grade or something like that. And my brother, he had got like a FOE tattoo. And that shit looked hard, so I just took it. And it stood for FOE. And you know what I'm saying FOE is basically family over everything. The AK, that's just my nickname, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But, so the rap name is FOE AK, so yeah. And uh, when is the first time you heard music? Like, what do you mean by that? Like, like the very first time that you heard music and you, you liked it. Uh, that was a long time ago, like when I was young, like probably like five, six years old or something like that. I was young. I always liked music, you know. I always knew I wanted to rap. Even when I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to rap, but I just didn't. You know, I just was, you know, doing other things. You know, I didn't really think that could be possible for me to even rap, you know, being a little kid. So um, I always loved music. Like, and that ain't just rap, you know, R&B, soul. I listen to everything, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I listen to a lot of gospel too, cause that was would be that was was played in my crib, you know. So I know a lot of music, you know. Well, what artists or what songs do you think you heard when you was little? That was like, yeah, I don't like this, or you can't really tell. I don't think I could tell, you know. I used to fuck with um Chris Brown heavy when I was a jet when I was younger. I boy Chris Brown. I wanted to be that nigga, cause that nigga had all the females and all the all the females used to like that voice. So I used to want to be like him. He used to sing and dance. Yeah. I was like that. I wanted to be like him when I was a jet. But yeah, I, I listened to a lot of shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, cause when I'm in the crib, it's gospel. When I'm out the crib, it's rap. It's this and that. You know what I'm saying? When I'm mm-hmm. when I go visit my dad, he play a lot of reggae. So you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, you being Jamaican, do you plan on like, like putting in reggae music, or making like a project related to that for your culture, or? Um, I don't know. It could happen. It was. It's not in my plan. But shit, the way life goes, man, I don't be planning half the shit I do. Shit just be happening, you know. So mm-hmm. it could happen, you know, but it's not in my plan as of right now, you know. Okay. Okay. And um, how long have you been rapping? Uh, it's been about three years now. Uh, I started, like, when I, when I graduated 2018, like, I, I started rapping, like, late 2018, like, yeah, like, late 2018 type shit, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, about three years. And, um, what, what producers have you worked with so far? Shit, um, shout out 30 Wave. I was fucking with a Tata Plug. He be shooting videos now. Uh, C5, uh, my boy Leo. Um, yeah, those are really who I started with. That's like who I started with for real, for real. And right now, I'm just, I just forward a lot of other people. You know, I got this engineer. I be fucking with Alex. You know, me and him, we always lock in. So, yeah, you know. That's who I was really fucking with when I started. You know, I still fuck with them. You know, we actually did an EP together, a collab EP, uh, 30K. Um, hopefully, we can do another one. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what I've been fucking with. And um, what was like the uh, the process of creating that EP? Did you freestyle, write the songs? Like, how how do you make your music when okay. you go in the studio? Okay, so first the EP was just on some shit like, bro. We was always in the studio, like always recording me. I don't, I don't really, I go in the studio with at least a couple songs written. I got lyrics written, you feel me? I could match it to a beat. I don't like to go through the studio unprepared, you know? Mm-hmm. I could go in there like and hear a beat and write, but I feel like me sitting down at the crib and writing is better than me going in the studio for like however long I'm in the studio for, however long my session is, and then writing on the beat that I just heard today, you know? So I feel like I take my writing process a little more serious. But uh, that was that was how we did that, you know. What I'm saying that 30k shit. We just we always had we was always recording. So I was like, and we might as well do a collab. Like I done rapped on all y'all beats, so we just did it. We just pulled some songs that I had and just literally put it out. And uh, my process really is just um, like I said, I just write. I write everything. I could go in like somebody played me a beat was like, yo, I need this in 30 30 minutes or whatever. Like bro, I could knock it down, you know. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I, I'm better when I, if I was to hear a beat Sunday and I write to it and record to it on Saturday, I feel like it will come out better than me coming in and writing that shit in 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. You know, everybody has their own creative process and how they do it, and you just like, um, you just like to work on your craft. Like I remember, I was talking to an artist, and he told me when he make his music, he thinks about the bars, um, the flow, and like the delivery behind it. So he's focusing on like the the actual beat. Mm-hmm. And how he likes the beats, or there's some upbeat stuff, and then the lyrics where he want to get lyrical, yeah. But also on how he delivers the bars, also because you could be lyrical and not be on not be on beat, so it don't really do nothing. Yeah, you know, um, every beat has a different sound, and every beat that I listen to, I always come to it differently. You know, I still got the way my sound gonna sound the same. Well, I got different type of sounds, but um, every beat I could I could sound different on a beat with a piano then a beat just with an eight oh eight blast and heavy bass, you feel me? So every beat is different and um yeah, you know, you gotta come in different. The flow is definitely important. The bar is definitely important. I do take my bar serious as well. You know what I'm saying? Um yeah. So that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. And um what what videographers do you like to work with? Uh, right now, me and my boy A. Walker, man, we tapped in, man. I've been shooting with him for, it's been a year now. We've been, we've been locked in, bro, and I've been shooting every video with him for a year straight. Uh, before that, I was shooting with that boy Herb. He be shooting uh, FCG Heen videos and shit like that. So mm-hmm. I used to, like, when I first started, that's what I was really shooting with. Um, yeah, so those are really the two videographers that I was really locked in with. Right now, it's me and Walker. We just locked in. We, like, we shooting every month. So, so, and um, when when you work with a videographer, like, do you come up with the concepts for your video? Like, how was the process behind that? Uh, so basically, like, we we come together. Like, I send them the song, say, "What you think about this?" You know, and uh, I'll tell them, "Hey, I was thinking this," and he'll be like, "Damn, I can hear, I see this." So you know, we always come together, and we uh. We definitely plan shit out together, you know what I'm saying? I hit him with an idea, he'll hit me back with one. We'll be texting on the phone for like an hour just talking about shit. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, I see this, 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 yeah. So we definitely work together, but I feel like we a team when it comes to music videos. Yeah, because um, I see your videos kind of got like almost like a concept yeah. to each one. I always try to um do some shit that can catch somebody. eye. Ah, you know, I don't like... I don't like to do running guns too much, bro, because everybody do running gun videos where, you know, on standing there, everybody there smoking, whatever. Like, it's cool. Like, the videos come out looking hard, but I feel like a video should always have a concept. Like, back in the days, like, early 2000s, videos had concepts, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. think about, like, Missy Elliott, Busta Rhymes. Like, their videos all had concepts behind it. So I feel like everybody's video should, a video should be tell, should tell something, you know? Like, running guns are cool. Like, I got a couple running gun videos, but I like to do concept videos, you know, videos that have, you know, catch your eye. Like, oh, shit, what the fuck? This nigga's a scientist? What the hell? Yeah. I never seen no shit like that. Or this nigga dress up as an old man? What the fuck? Like, yeah, man, you gotta be different, bro. You gotta be different in the crowd, you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. And um, what artists you feel like inspired you early on? Oh, Lil Wayne, for sure. I always say that. That was my that's my favorite rapper, you know what I'm saying? When I was younger I wanted to be just like that nigga. I wanted I wanted to ask my mom, Can I can I grow my hair? I wanna dress. You were like, Fuck no. My mom was that type of mom, like, nigga, you have my shit shaved down but she was not playing that shit. But you Jamaican though, don't Jamaicans have a dress? Yeah, it's 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 really the rosters, you know what I'm saying? Like Cause a lot of people think, oh yeah, if you Jamaican, you gotta have dreads. A lot of it is really like the rosters and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, shit, my mom wasn't fucking with that shit. She did not want me to grow up my hair, boy. So, but when I was a kid, I wanted to be just like Wayne. I wanted the diamond teeth. I wanted, nigga, I wanted the piercing and all. Like this when I was younger though. Like when I got older, hell now. But when I was like probably like eight or nine, I wanted to look just like that nigga. Mm-hmm. But, but that was definitely my inspiration. Like for real, for real. Still is my inspiration, you know what I'm saying? So Yeah. hmm And like as a as an artist, do you plan on like having your own record label one day or you just plan on just being just an just an artist? Um, 
I would love to have my own record label. I feel like if we would be a family over everything would be a good label, uh, family only entertainment or something like that. You know, that would be a good label. Um, if if it's in the plan, if it's in God's plan for me, then yeah, we could do it. But you know, right now I'm just going going wherever the wind blows. If the wind blow me to a record label, then shit, we gonna do a record label. If it blow me to, you know, start up a restaurant or whatever, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. You know? And where do you see the wind blowing you in like a year from now? Like, where do you see your career going? In the year? Shit, up. Only way is up, you know, whether it's, whether it's, I'm getting fans from different states or different counties, however way is up is, you know what I'm saying? It's no definition of really going up, you know what I'm saying? I feel as if it's doing better than I did the year before. You know, I used to have like a vision in mind, like when I first started, like, yeah, about next year I'll be signed or I'll have this. But nah, it's really just a grind. So it's a marathon, not a sprint. Mm-hmm. So, shit. Lat next year, I want to be better than I was this year. I wanna, you know, what I'm saying whatever I didn't do this year, I wanna do next year. Like last year, I this year I started doing shows. I wasn't doing shows last year. I wasn't. I never performed ever till this year. So that was a a big change that I made. I met a lot more people. Got to network some more. So. However, you know what I'm saying, however up is, you know what I'm saying, whether it's a show out of state, a show, you know what I'm saying. I would love to be up some M's, though, but shit, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. And, like, you know, a lot of artists be wanting to get signed to a record label, get yeah. a deal, get, like, a million dollars up mm-hmm. front. Do you want to be independent or get signed? I mean, I think we'd all love to be independent, you know what I'm saying? But whenever the opportunity comes, you know, I'm going to jump on it, you know. If if I feel like I like if I feel like somebody trying to sign me and it's looking good and you know everything in motion then I you know, I'll probably do it. Mm-hmm. For sure. But um at the same time I wouldn't rule out my option to be independent because you know, I would own everything, you know. But you know, that's just something that's going to happen when it happens, you know. I, I could, I would like to be independent, but shit, if it comes down to me being signed, to you know, get to where I gotta be, then you know what I'm saying, then that's how it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying. All right, and um, do you have any upcoming projects that you're working on? Uh, right now, I just dropped the project in May. Uh, Gangstar had ten songs on there. You know what I'm saying. Um, as far as a project, I'm always, I'm always working. You know what I'm saying. So. Right now, I don't have like a project in mind or a typical name, but I'm always working. I got a whole bunch of shit that's in the vault. Right now, I'm dropping singles. I got to see how life goes, see how I feel, you know what I'm saying? To be like, all right, maybe so I know when it's time to actually drop the project. But mm-hmm. me and my boy, uh, Rico007, we, we definitely talked about uh doing a collab tape. You know what I'm saying? We got great chemistry. We work, we work good, you know what I'm saying? So... We definitely might do that, you know. But um, right now I'm just going to be putting out singles back to back and, you know, see how everybody fucking with it. And uh, whenever it's that time to drop, I'm going to drop again. Trust. But, you know, right now we just we just working. And how many unreleased songs do you think you have? Man. Uh, shit, I got a lot. Probably like right now. I got. I don't know how much, but I got. I got a good amount. I could put out a project, but it's always good to have a lot of unreleased. Cause there's some unreleases that might not even get released. You know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes my studio process is I might go to the stew and say I record five songs. I might not even fuck with those five songs, and I leave. Like that's how it be sometimes. Like sometimes out of every five songs, I might just pick one. Like damn, you feel me? That's the one right here. And all these other songs, just like. Mm-hmm. I might just reuse the lyrics for another beat. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be. Sometimes I'll reuse lyrics on other beats. Like, if the beat don't... Like if it don't sound right on that other beat, it might sound right on another beat. Yeah. You know? So, um... That's how I be, bro. You know what I'm saying? But as far as unreleased, man, I got I got a, I got a few. You know what I'm saying? I could drop a project off unreleased, but, you know, it's all about when the time is right and the, you know, the songs that you put together. All right. And is there... Is there anything you would like uh people to know about you? Like how would you describe yourself? Um 
Well, I would describe myself as um, I'm a real funny person. If you know me, I always laugh and I laugh at everything. I'm not gonna lie, like I laugh at everything. Um, I'm I'm a I'm I'm kind of quiet. Like if I don't know you, I'll be quiet. But as of lately, though, like since I started rapping, I ain't gonna lie, I talk a lot more. Cause you know you gotta you can't be so isolated being a rapper. You gotta be more, you know more willing to network so you know um i'm real funny uh, i'm a caring person i'm real loyal you know what i'm saying i i hold my people down you know what i'm saying uh and i i just love music you know what i'm saying i feel like a lot of people do music because it's a wave mm -hmm. and you know probably money and it's just cool to rap now you know what i'm saying but i actually got love for this shit like i actually take the shit serious you know what i'm saying like shit is an art Show me so I actually take this shit serious. It is this ain't no game. Like I was like, if I wasn't if I, like if I ain't blow when I'm thirty, nigga, I'ma still rap just cause I love that shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I actually love what I do. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no shit that I'm doing for money or cause it's a it, it's a wave. You know what I'm saying? I do it cause I actually love doing this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so yeah. All right, and um, um, where can we find all your music? Oh, man, I'm on all streaming platforms, man. Uh, YouTube, uh, Spotify, uh, SoundCloud. Um, YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, everywhere, man. YouTube, uh, I got videos on there. I like to tell people go on my YouTube channel, F-O-E-A-K. So that's F-O-E space A-K on all streaming platforms. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and is there anybody you want to give a shout out to before we close up? Shit, man. Um, shout out to FOE. Shout out my boy, my manager. You know what I'm saying? Phil. Uh, funny story, you know what I'm saying? I met Phil in like 2018. We went to, uh, we was in class together. Uh, we went to Sheridan together in college and shit. And uh, I met that boy and bro, I ain't a lot. Like, we was just cool, you feel me? And I told him how I rap or whatever. We was cool and like, that boy was just showing... I ain't asked this nigga to post none of my shit. Like, that boy would have my link in his bio, send it to everybody. Like, I ain't asked him to do none of that. Like, I just met him. He was doing that. I'm like, man, that's real. He had to be my manager, you feel me? You know? So, um... That's a real one right there, man. Um, shout out my boy Rico007. Um, me and him got a song out, No Lacking. Um, he got a project coming out soon. Uh, shout out AG Swamp, my boy. From the east side, you feel me? Um, shout out Brise. Uh, shout out everybody else. Tay James, you know what I'm saying? Shout out all my people, man, you know what I'm saying? Got to show love where love is due, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. I want to tell you, man, thank you for joining 28 Put Me On TV. Uh, thank you so much for having me, man. Peace, peace, peace. 28 Put Me On TV, you know I'm shining.